traffic jams on roads are not new. But traffic in space, that's unheard of. But soon, this could turn to be reality. Satellites, although useful, present a growing challenge. Once past its shelf life, satellites are reduced to what scientists call space junk. These could range from objects as large as inactive satellites to objects as small as a flake of paint and parts of a rocket or other satellite. Scientists estimate that besides millions of smaller debris, there are around 34,000 pieces of space junk larger than 10 centimeters in size, traveling at speeds of over 28,000 kilometers an hour. Space junk, even as small as a millimeter, could prove fatal for other satellites. Each year, several satellites become dead or inactive, thereby turning into deadly space junk. Scientists say at least one to two Starlink satellites are falling back on Earth every day, raising fears of a potential chain reaction of space debris. Currently, there are about 8,000 Starlink satellites in Earth's orbit. But Starlink is not alone. Rivals like Amazon's Kipa and Chinese space companies are ramping up deployment of communication satellites. The low Earth orbit, where most of these satellites are stationed, could soon turn into small congested space housing, as many as 30,000 satellites. The average lifespan of these satellites is only about five to seven years, which roughly translates to five satellites turning into junk and falling back on Earth each day. Scientists fear that this could push Earth closer to the Kessler syndrome, a scenario in which each collision in space creates a cascading impact, leading to more debris in space. Such a scenario could make parts of space unusable for future satellites. As countries across the globe race to launch satellites into space, managing space debris and traffic could emerge as the biggest hindrance to space exploration.